Welcome to East Sjursja Ice Church, which is an ice cave in the south of Norway. We're here in, in Falvan and we're going to Isirka, which is like a cave under the frozen waterfall. Let's see if we get there because I forgot my spikes and it's very slippery. <laughs> the ice church is located around three hour drive north of Oslo in Falvan, where you can also find a car park where the trail starts from. This is a car park, quite a lot of space now. You cannot park in there because it's somebody's house, but a path goes there. So far so good, but it goes all the way down, quite steep. <coughs> It's not down. That's great. What is down then? Centrum. It was a centrum. So you don't have to go down for now. And um, East Sjerka, or I'm not actually sure if I pronounce it the correct way. Um, it's located around 20 minute walk from a car park near the river. Up here it's mainly flat, but there are some small hills and because they're covered with ice they're really tricky to walk on if you don't have crampons or spikes. Especially now that everything is melting there is snow and a layer of ice on top of it. Um, it's good to have crampons. But I've seen families here with like little kids. Everyone, everyone was doing fine, having fun. So it's really nice short walk to um, to the ice church. In the forest here, you can very often also see moose and different types of birds. For example, owls in the evenings in February and March. You can hear them around here. Um, so it's really nice area for a walk in general, any time of the year. But if you want to see this um, ice cave that's only at the beginning of the year, then it disappears. Go Calvin. <laughs> There's ice church over there, quite a steep hill here, and um, a lot of people were sliding on their butts, but we have problems. So the East Sirka Ice Church is just down there. Here behind me it's a river. River Trumsa, I believe. 
And right now it's uh, almost fully frozen. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of ice here, so I actually got crampons, like my um, climbing crampons. Definitely bring some crampons when you get here. Look how thick these, this ice is. This is the river and the water actually goes underneath. And then the ice church is over there. Ice church um, is formed by the water that's um, dripping from the rocks above and then freezing um, at night and then melting during the day. So the best time to view this place, uh, to, to see this place, to visit it, is um, between January and March. But the early spring is probably the best when there is milder temperatures during the day and colder at night, so it can freeze. And it's really, really beautiful inside. Ice church. So here we are at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the icicles is fast. Where does the couple was sitting? Yeah. Oh, no, they, they fell over there. No, no, it fell. Oh, really? Yeah. It's on camera. <laughs> so watch out to don't go under icicles. Why is it hollow inside? <laughs> so in the summer there is a cave, um, which is the natural cave in the rocks. And then now in winter, because the water is dripping from the top of the rocks and it freezes, it creates this curtain of ice that creates this effect of an uh, ice cave. Mm -hmm. 